Stephen, congratulations. That's some achievements, three league titles in a row. Yeah, thank you. Um, incredible achievement from the players um, and the staff. And and uh, we're just delighted that we were able to get it done and, and, and get that second star for the club. Did you watch the Derry match last night? I didn't. I was actually at um, Shells against UCD. So um, I, I was being told the to score as I was watching the game. So um, I didn't watch it. How were the nerves as the score was kind of filtering through and you saw it was nil all coming up to the 90th minute? When it, uh, as the later it gets, obviously yeah, you're more nervous, but the reports were that Sligo were quite comfortable in the game um, and had chances to win it themselves. So um, by all accounts, they, they deserved to, to draw it and maybe even a win. So um, as the game went on, uh, yeah, you become more nervous, but um, you just have to take it. Surely you were tempted to get the phone out and throw on LOI TV, no? <laughs> No, I was actually went to the game, so I'd watch that game and not think of the other game. Um, but like I said, talk is a small ground and, and every second person was telling me to score, so I couldn't escape it. Uh, so final whistle went then, what were the emotions? Just um, joy and this has been a difficult season. Um, so incredible uh, achievement from the group, so uh, proud of what we've done and, and uh, real joy in, in what we've achieved this year. It takes a special group to win three league titles in a row. It does because um, it, it, it takes showing up every day uh, with a mentality that you want to improve and you, and you want to get better. And, and um, success can can uh, can be a horrible learner. It can make you complacent. Uh, and this group have never let that creep in, and, and, and that's been fantastic to see. Have you got a chance to talk to many of the players, or was the WhatsApp group just going all night? I'm not in the WhatsApp group, so I'm not. I don't know, but um, I'll see them all in the morning, and uh, we'll obviously congratulate each other and, and uh, then get ready for for the game on Thursday. Looking just past Thursday, then you have a big party on Sunday, and, and it's against Derry. I mean, is that's probably the best way to do it? Yeah, it's. Uh, I think Tal is solo already, which is fantastic, um, and it's something we're really looking forward to. We can go now and enjoy what we've worked so hard for, um, which is return the league, so we can go and enjoy that with our fans and our family, and uh, like you said, make sure that we, uh, we have a party on Sunday night. And about Thursday then, all the pressure's off now, you don't have to keep one eye on the league, you can focus fully on the Europa League now, and I suppose what will this the league win do now for confidence and morale and everything going into Thursday? Yeah, you've hit the nail on the head in terms of Thursday, we will have to make some changes with Sunday in mind because we have a few injuries. But well, now that that's, uh, the league is done, I think we can fully focus on Thursday and go as strong as possible and and, uh, and try and uh, win the game. With the Europa League now, obviously qualification looks a bit beyond you, but is there a feeling that you could maybe do something special and give the fans something to cheer about? Yeah, well, our aim has to be to try and win both remaining games. I think if we do that, we we, we break the record that uh, Dundalk set a few years ago in terms of points in, in the group stages. So that has to be our aim. Um, and we'll try and obviously do that on starting on Thursday. Great stuff, Steve. Thanks a million. Thank you.